Hello, Bumpy Mixquigums here, and I'm continuing my Let's Play of Don't Starve. And hopefully I can do just that. This should be episode 10 if I am not wrong, and I'm hoping that I'm not wrong. And, yeah. So we're going to continue right where we left off, of course, and hopefully continue to be relatively successful, because everything is relative. All right, um, I don't know what to do now. I guess we'll make another axe, maybe. And we will go murder our forest. Maybe that is a good idea. Also, I think, yeah, we'll murder our forest. Then we'll maybe make some, we'll murder the forest. Then perhaps we'll make a few shovels. And with our few shovels, we will slay the world. No, we'll dig up all the remainder of the forest. Mm hmm. Alright, well, we have a small problem. And that small problem is. gonna be rectified immediately. Because I want to rectify it. I do. I wonder what that's gonna do. Ah, who knows. For now, it is a storage place, and that is all it is there for. Alright, so our goal is to murder our forest, and then regrow our forest before a nightfall. I want a stockpile of wood, I plan to make an additional chest. I apparently am having a really hard time chopping this tree down, but there we go. We have attained our victoriousness of a victory and awesomeness. Now, I did a little bit more reading, I didn't go crazy to try to figure everything out about the game, just uh, some random things I was wondering about, like the lightning rod, no idea what to do with it. But apparently within roughly two screens of it, it absorbs all lightning and saves things from burning down to the ground. So those are very good things. So I believe that I'm going to probably craft yet another lightning rod, put it down maybe southeast of my base, and then I should have some uh, fair, decent coverage, I dare say. Um, for my base, my forests and my my grass gardens and all the stuff that I do have. I don't know if bees can burn down, so if that is possible, uh, I have a real hard time chopping down trees sometimes. If that is a possibility, then perhaps I should do a lightning rod over that direction, and then I can even expand the base camp that way as well. And one thing I am not entirely sure about is how I'm going to manage to continue to battle these dogs without the aid of other creatures. Because, well, as it stands right now, we are starting to really get trampled on by the dogs. They are just owning our faces, and, well, to be 100% honest, it is quite sad. I could have sworn it just said that my axe broke, and then all of a sudden I had a 13% axe in my inventory. Maybe it was there from before, I don't know. I honestly can't say. There we go. Ah, alright. I must have had one in there and I just didn't notice and I created a new one. Alright, that's fair. Alright, we have 20 wood, so we're going to come down here. And we are going to craft ourselves a chest, but we have to refine into some boards. And we have done this. And we combine the stack. And then we will drop our food on the ground, and then we shall craft ourselves a chest. getting late. I'm aware of this. Now I would like to craft myself a shovel perhaps. I think I'm going to drop this for now. I will craft myself a shovel. And I will de-stump the forest. And then I will come back and gather all the things that are left behind. So I think my immediate goals now, during this day-night phase, cycle, episode, whatever you want to call it, my goal is to increase my land holdings, essentially, if you want to look at it in that regard. And I, what I mean by that is get more berry bushes, get some more grass and twig things, and just increase, essentially, what we have a control over, what we have a hold on in our immediate area. And I think uh, that would be a pretty good idea. That's just my thoughts. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. 
I'm gonna grab these seeds here. I know there should be some guano laying around. Get away, birdie. I see the bats are out. I don't want to deal with the bats right now, so we will deal with that later. Nope, don't plant it. Oh, I planted it. If I dig it up again... Oh, I can actually pick it up. Sweet. Alright. So we're gonna go drop this off, and then apparently we're gonna be done for the evening. Maybe. Maybe we'll have a little bit of time to do some other stuff. We will see. We must fertilize it, though. And we'll check our trap. We'll drop it, and we'll murder it. No! Apparently that doesn't do enough damage. Alright, well, that's fine. That is okay, I suppose. We do have Chester. We're going to put our hat back on. And we are going to add fuel to the fire. I do have some cooking I would like to take care of during this night phase. So I will do that. There will be more chopping to be done as well. And unfortunately, I did not get around to getting my honey this time. So that, again, is unfortunate. Alright, so we're a little hungry, so we should eat some of our food, I imagine. Oh, and I learned some cool new uh, thing, and I'm going to try it out. This was in my reading. Apparently, if you leave these bird eggs on the ground they hatch. And then they follow you around like a little baby mini army of love and stuff. So that's kind of neat. A neat mechanic. Now, I'm not sure how long they follow you, and uh, I heard that they do grow into tall birds eventually, but they start off as small birds. We're going to pick these up and drop them away from the fire. Because during the day they get too hot by the fire, and during the night they get too cold without it. So it's always a balancing act. Alright, we are going to... We have quite a few things that we're going to attempt here. To try to set ourselves up for winter. I want to see what it takes to build another drying rack. I'm assuming that's food. We need some more charcoal, which we should have, and grass. We should have both of those things. Charcoal is where exactly? There we go. And we will put this in the food over here. And then we will refine ourselves with some rope. So we'll refine. And then we are going to craft ourselves a couple drying racks. And then that way, if it all plays out the way I'm hoping it will, I should be able to get quite a bit of jerky, which I believe, I could be wrong, this is just my thought, this is not something I looked up, but I believe that jerky has a much longer in your inventory life, it's not really shelf life, it's not really going on a shelf, mind you, but an in your inventory life uh, than the non, the, uh, the raw meat, that's, that's the word I'm looking for, the raw meat, so... That being said, it would behoove us. Wow, there's a log behind there. It would behoove us to go grab these seeds. Uh, it would behoove us to get a, a lot of dried out meat to help us last through the winter. And we can stockpile it. That's what I guess I'm getting at. At least that's my hope. I don't know whether or not it's true. I'm assuming that it is. It seems like. There's some logic behind it, and generally things that are logical are correct. That's not always true, because I'm pretty sure when you plant butterflies, you don't get flowers. But, in this game, that is not the case. You do, you do indeed get flowers when you plant butterflies. So, logic might not win the day, whereas usually it does. Alright. So we shall run around and plant ourselves a much larger forest. and be happy for it. And there we have it. Alright. At this point, we are going to go gather ourselves some honey. We're going to store the wood that we do have. And then I'm going to figure out how I made that lightning rod, because I don't remember. Ah, gold and stone. And I should have both of those things in one of these chests. Apparently I do not. I must have used all my gold. Well, that is okay. 
That is alright. I am not upset in any way, shape, or form. I almost got away without getting stung. Not quite, but we did get quite a bit of honey. And it looks like our flower garden is working very nicely. And we managed to escape almost certain doom and, dem and death again. The bees seem very unhappy that we're stealing their honey, but that's okay. Because we now have 18 honey, we're going to cook ourselves some more taffy. And taffy does seem to be working pretty well for us. We're going to toss our carrots into uh, the cook pile. And we are going to add uh, some honey there. And I don't know how long honey lasts, but I have to assume a fairly long period of time. If that's the case, I mean, maybe we can stockpile some honey too. But as it stands, I think we are doing quite alright. Now we're going to go gather some more of these things. Bees are not happy with us, and that's understandable. We are stealing their vomit. You'd think they'd be happy, and you know, like, oh, thanks for cleaning up our puke, man. But no, no. They apparently are not happy with that. And that's something that's really disturbing. You know, the fact that we would eat honey, and knowing that it is indeed actually a bee of vomit that we're eating, it's pretty disturbing. I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty darn disturbing. Well, they don't seem to be in heat. And, wow, they really did a lot of uh, mating as of recent times, so that's happened. We do need to get some poo, though. We are getting low on our poo supply. We have not visited the herd in quite some time, so it's nice to be back over here and seeing them. It's not really nice to get our hands back on some poo, mind you. It does seem kind of disturbing and, well, more than a little creepy, but... It is what it is. It is a required uh, item for us. Now I've read a few other things, like rotted eggs and some other stuff you can make um, gunpowder from. Lots of little things I've read. Nothing that's game-breaking right now, but... All I know is when the wolves come to attack again, I'm not looking forward to that. And our shovel has broken. So I think I will just harvest this grass, and I will move back toward uh, the base camp. And once I am at the base camp, I will plant all these little things that we have uh, gathered. I believe you can even uh, rob the bees of their honey at night. Yep, apparently I am correct in this. Please stop trying to kill me. Alright. So we've managed to survive that. This bee is very persistent. Stop it. If you don't stop, I may have to slay you. And I'm pretty sure you do not want that. Alright, so at this point, we are going to gather up our wonderful, fun eggs. Put them back over here by the fire. We're going to see if we can get there before the bird eats the seeds. We did it! And if we have the range on our campfire, we're going to fertilize some of these things. Oh, no, we dropped it. No! Alright, we should have... Alright, our crockpot is uh, done uh, making some taffy. Yeah, we ate one, no big deal. And apparently we never planted any seeds. So we shall replant those. Put our poo over here and... Actually utilize it. And those things are fine. a morsel that we can hang out on our drying rack. And we have some stuff that we still need to cook. And I believe at this point, I'm going to prepare for the next night cycle. And 
I am going to get myself a roll. I'll throw a sleeping roll. I'll throw it in my buddy Chester here. Uh, it's Chester making the sounds. I'm like, I'm hearing, like, dog sounds, but not exactly. That explains it. So we're going to gobble these berries down. And we're going to try something. Now, I've heard that you can use monster meat. No bird. I need seeds. You can use the monster meat in your crockpot recipes if you only use one. If you use more than one, well... Bad Juju Magumbo happens. Now, I'm not sure if spoiled meat is going to ruin it. But we're going to try it anyway. We're also going to come over here and fertilize uh, this... And this... Get the poo. Fertilize. 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 Alright. So looks like all of our grass mounds are fertilized. Okay, well, that sucked. I had yet another crash, guys. I gotta tell you, axes and me do not seem to mix very well. It's okay, so what are we going to get out of here? I do not know, but I do wonder. Ah, we are going to get honey nuggets. Actually, I did know that. I did know that is what I was going to get out of there. It is time to chop down a tree. And I'm hoping. There we go. A little bit of extra wood for the night, if at all possible. That would be definitely a good boon to us. Alright, so do we have a shovel? We do not have a shovel right now, and that is okay. We don't necessarily need a shovel. We're going to well, we'll store some pine cones in there. Why not? All right, let's take a look. We have one dried meat that we can gather. We will gather it. We shall put that. We are going to actually gobble up some food because we are a little weak. We're going to store it. It seems to be holding very well. Let's go run over here and grab some honey, and then I think we're going to start collecting more grass and other random things. Maybe some more poo. I think yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna craft ourselves a shovel and we're gonna dig up some more grass to make our grass farm that much more impressive. In fact, I dare say we're gonna do two shovels. And if there's any berry things along the way, we shall grab those as well. Wow, that was really beneficial to me actually. So we're gonna try to have all our grass farm in one area, and then maybe in the next day night phase we can He'll gather us up some gold and some stone, and perhaps, just maybe, we can make ourselves a couple additional lightning rods. And that way, we do not have to worry anymore about storms happening and us, well, getting everything burnt to the ground, because the lightning rods are supposed to absorb that. So we're going to go along this way. We're going to collect some poo and some grass as we go. And, in theory... There we are. And in theory, we will uh, get ourselves a decent sized uh, grass and a decent sized uh, stick farm. I actually lost quite a bit with this last reload. I. <laughs> it's kind of ironic. I um, I was chopping down trees later in my little my forest that I had regrown over there. And as I was doing like one of my last chops on a tree, the tree started to come to life and then the game crashed, so I have no idea what that was about. Like they grew legs and I went, ooh, and then, oh, well never mind. Game crashed. So I was kind of hesitant, I wasn't sure where I restarted, but... So yeah, apparently trees can come to life, and that's a terrifying thing. You don't believe me? Well... Imagine going over to a tree to pick some fruit or something, and all of a sudden it comes to life, starts walking at you, and attacking you. Well, I assume it would attack me. I don't think it would be my friend. But I, you know, I, I've been wrong before. It's possible I could be wrong again. Alright, so we're going to continue to pull up some grass. I would like quite a large grass farm if I can attain it. 
And adding an additional 10 seems like a very viable option. I can't recall. I know I crafted it, though. I don't know if it still exists. We're going to eat this tapio. Mostly because I'm trying to heal up a little bit. But also because, well, I can. Alright, so we're going to pull our spear out. And we're going to drop him, and then we're going to kill him, then we're going to grab that, and then we're going to reset the trap. And we're going to pour to this overflowing honey thing, and we're going to grab that up. And then retreat, as they want to kill us as always. And we are going to run around, and we're going to replant all of these wonderful things. To make ourselves an even larger grass farm. I, I'm thinking that I probably already did this, though, I, again, I don't recall exactly how far I've dropped back. But it never hurts to get more, I suppose. So now we're going to fertilize. And slowly but surely, we're going to be really, really well off. And that's the goal, anyway. Oops. The goal is to get to our... Our self-sustaining um, through winter hovel, I guess. I, I don't know. Something along those lines. Alright, we're going to head back because it's about to be night time and our eggs will be getting cold. And we don't want our eggs to be cold, so we're going to grab them up. And we're going to set them in front of the Zephyr. And we're going to check Chester, did we? We did. Alright. And we're going to go throw these on the drying racks. And we're going to get back in range of the fire, and we're going to sleep. And we will sleep through this night, and we will wake up on day 48. There we are. I'm sure we're probably a little bit hungry, so what we'll do is this. Thankfully our fire did indeed go out. Let's get some seeds over here. I want to get some more sticks, too. We don't have that many saplings, and, well, since I'm here, I might as well gather up some more grass. Our grass farm is grown, after all, and, well, again, our goal is to stockpile enough to make it through the next winter. So, in theory, if I play my cards right, and I do everything I'm supposed to do, I can make that a reality. I'm scared to go back over to my forest, because... Last time I did that, my axe broke, and the game tried to kill me. Both of those seem like bad things, when you think about it. Oh, apparently I have even more grass to plant. I was unaware of this, but okay. And there we go. Alright, well, we should fertilize this. I dare say. And we have quite a bit more that we need to fertilize. However, they are not fertilized yet. I'm going to grab those. We'll get our seeds. Plant, plant. And we have nothing to fertilize with. Do we have any poo left in our chests? I don't believe we do. No, we do not have any poo left. Alright, so we have to go on a poo run. The tree's gonna eat me? No? Sweet. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. The trees are not trying to eat my soul this time. That is much to my advantage. Unfortunately, it looks like we don't have room for the guano, so we are going to gather that up. After we gobble one of the corn husks down. I'm gonna run past this guy right here, this fellow, this gentleman bee. And no. We will need to go mining again, because I would like to get a couple more lightning rods down around my base, just to make sure nothing horrible and awful happens to me. But, I understand that. That's not the biggest necessity I have right now. So I'm going to grab those berries, I'm going to eat them. 
I'll grab this plant. There was one more berry bush, if I recall correctly, over here, but maybe I'm wrong? No, I guess not. This was just the one. And that is quite alright, I suppose. Imagine digging graves up is probably not the best idea, so maybe I'll refrain from doing that. Looks like we're going to have to go play with the beefaloes again. We're going to have to get more, uh... Well, oops. We're going to have to get ourselves some more poo. Unfortunately, we do not have a large enough supply to make things work for us. So we're going to gather some more honey. Great, great. No birdie. Seeds are mine. And we shall run onward. We shall eat some taffy. We seem to be overly hungry lately, I'm not sure why. Wow, look at the size of that beefalo baby. He's huge. Not just because I was zoomed in. He's almost the size of a normal beefalo is what I'm trying to say. You know how small they can be? These are rather large and robust. Alright. Well, we do need some more poo, and we are running out of daylight. Ah, thank you, sir. I shall do the sanitation duties. Excuse me, birdie. But I said good day, sir, and you do not get that. Looks like this seat over here is mine. Alright. So, I'm not sure, but I think taffy seems to be lasting quite a while as well. So, perhaps a combination of honey, taffy, and dried meat might help us survive the winter. We will have to see. We will have to see. Oh, one more pile of poo. Come with me, sir. I think you could move the beefalo herd, too, a little bit. I think that's what that uh, horn of the beefalo that I have, I think that's what it does. I'm not entirely sure, though. Now, let's see if there's another overflowing honey thing. If there's one, we will gather the honey from it. Stung once, of course. They do like to sting us on our backsides. It's okay. We will survive it. We are hardy and robust. We have quite a bit of grass this is outside of our base in general. It's kind of nice. Alright, let's see here. We have the taffy. We're going to probably stay awake through this night. Um... I'm going to try to fertilize the rest of this grass over here. And I'm still worrying about the day when the next grouping of uh, dogs come to eat our souls. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm hoping it's not at night so I don't have to play run around the fire and pray that I make it to morning again. Because that wasn't a fun game at all. I mean, you guys might have enjoyed it, but I certainly didn't. I did not enjoy that at all. That was horrible to me. Alright, so let's see, what do we have for our actual storage now? Alright, so we have grass in there. I'm gonna move our horn to this one. We have hound's tooth. Put it in there. Alright, so feathers, beard hair, charcoal. Want the other one? Okay. So, things are going alright. And, yeah. We'll come back over here. We're going to gather up our crops. We're going to plant some more seeds. We're going to fertilize those seeds with a zaguano, because a zaguano is like uber, uber poo. And yeah, things are going to be going rather nice for us, I will admit. I like our chances here. Surviving and sustaining ourselves. We shall add this to the crock pot. Cook it all up. Nice. Some seeds laying on the ground right there. And at this point, we're doing pretty darn good, I gotta say. Alright, we're gonna add some wood as well to this. I'm hearing sounds again. Not sure what it is exactly. So 
sounded like animals were nearby. It sounded like they scurried off when uh, the daylight showed up. Oh, that's my stomach. Ah, Wilson's hungry. Okay. Well, that's fair. That is fair. Wilson is allowed to be hungry. I will allow it. Alright. Gather some more twigs. And we're going to go on a twig search. We're going to grab up our dried meat before we do, and those seeds that that bird is eyeing. But he didn't go for, which is nice. We need to replenish our rabbit traps. But I think overall we're, we're doing okay. There we go. It sounded like our, yes, our fruit, or our farms, it did produce us some food, which is fantastic. We shall plant the seeds, fertilize the crops, and cook the food. And we might even eat it again, I'm not sure. There we go, we'll cook that up as well. Seems my chair is doing its wonderful sinking routine again. I must say I'm not particularly thrilled with that. But that is okay. Alright, let's grab ourselves the seeds and the one blade of grass that is sticking up. Seems out of place. We are going to equip our shovel. And we're going to go on twig watch. Alright. So our goal is to up our twig farm. It looks like we can also get a little bit of wood out here from the stumps that were left behind. Looks like our shovel broke, but our new shovel is well underway. And hopefully the killer bee doesn't want to eat us. It doesn't look like we're going to be so lucky. He does seem to have vengeance in mind. And I can't say I blame him. I probably did murder many of his kind, and I suppose I deserve his hatred and anger. Can't say I'm particularly thrilled with how that is, but it is what it is. So gather more things. I'm going to dig up a grave. I think it's time to figure out what happens when you dig up a grave. There's all sorts of good stuff down there. Ooh, I got a red gem. I should probably feel bad about that. Probably, but I don't. I don't feel bad about it at all. Ooh, a life-giving amulet. What does that do? I'm excited. Am I healing? I don't know. Ooh, nightmare fuel. All sorts of cool stuff. I can't believe I waited this long to dig up a grave. Oh, we're gonna go throw this in one of our chests. I hope it doesn't, like, corrupt the chest and destroy us or anything like that. Hey, our small bird's hatched! Hello, little guys! Well, unfortunately... We are about done with this episode, even though things are just now starting to get kind of neat. But I suppose that's just the way it is. It's just the way of the world, you know? Aww. They're so cute! Look how cute, look how cute they are! You're not that hungry, Wilson. Alright. Can you feed them? Ooh, I can give them stuff. Oh, you don't want to take it. Alright, well, it's okay. Wilson's hungry anyway. Ah, so I have my little small bird army. Hello, small birds! Thank you for joining me. I don't think I have to fertilize the sticks. I think they just grow. Because I don't see any differential between the two. No, I don't have to fertilize them. Which is pretty nice. I gotta say, I like that. We have our small birds. Now, my question is, can I gather honey with the small birds, or are they going to get in a big fight with the bees? I'm not sure. I really don't know. Got some rabbit murder. Grab up some seeds. A little bit more grass, and unfortunately, guys... Oops. Didn't want to actually do that, but it's okay. Fortunately, guys, we will be sleeping through this night, and that will end this episode. So if you guys are just starting to get into it, getting to see some new stuff, like the small birds, for instance, and, well, other random things happening, 
that will have to be continued in the next episode. But I think I got to show you guys uh, enough new stuff that you shouldn't be overly or underwhelmed or upset in any way. All right, so we're gonna go dry out these three meats. You see that I do have a plan. Whether it's gonna work or not, I'm not entirely sure. But at least I have a plan this time, and I'm not gonna be caught completely unawares. So I'm a little excited about that. We're gonna cook that up. We're gonna go throw our little sugar pot stuff in the chest over here, our taffy. That does seem to be holding well. And it looks like we are short. Hmm. So it looks like we're short on at least one, uh, Thing. That's okay. Alright, so we will refine ourselves a rope. We will craft ourselves a sleep, a straw roll for sleeping. We shall gather up this stuff. We use in the morning when we are ready to eat. And we will throw a log on the fire. And we're ready for a nap. Uh, well, it seems we're fully healed, so we'll put our life-giving amulet into storage. And it is about to be nighttime, and we're about to end our episode. So if you guys enjoyed uh, this particular episode, well, there's going to be more to come. I seem to have a direction now. It looks like there's about to be another storm, and it looks like dogs are about to come eat me as well. So we're going to cut this episode maybe a little short, but we're going to go to sleep right now. And we're going to hope... Oh, it's too dangerous. Well, we're not going to go to sleep, guys. The episode is not going to be cut short, and... We really don't have that much fuel for the fire, which is quite unfortunate. Well, we need to get our weapons out, and we need to be prepared for this. Fortunately, we're not going to sleep through the night, and we're going to have to battle more dogs. Unfortunately, they do keep showing up at night, which really sucks. It's hungry. I wonder how you feed it. Hey, I fed it some seeds. Alright, here come the doggies. Attack my babies. Alright. This begins the new run in circles until we survive. Attack! Attack my small bird compatriots. Attack like the wind. Chester alone, ow! I shall beat you all to death. Okay, maybe not to death. Just a little bit. No! Leave my small bird babies alone! No! Alright. I shall slay you. Are you alive, my babies? Are you alive? They're... If they are alive, they have disappeared. They have vanished. Chester survived, at least. Well, my small birds were not quite as powerful as I was expecting or hoping. So I had no idea whether they had any power or not. But I figured it was worth a try. We're going to go grab some honey, and we're going to call a closed episode 10. Well, I wanted to sleep through the night. It did not happen. And unfortunately, we had a battle, but we won it relatively easy. So... There is that. That is a boon to us in some small way. And we are still looking pretty good, and it doesn't look like we have to worry about another dog attack for at least another few days. So that too is beneficial. So, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I guess I will have to see you guys in the very next episode. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.